was originally uh, starting this video off at how good this machine is uh, and uh, how uh, how it how it cuts, but I've suddenly found that there's a design fault on it, um, and the design fault is on the uh, cutting blade, because I've now got to I've now got to the bottom of this thread, and you can see I've hardly got anything taken off of this uh, uh, what they call the uh, cutting cutting pressure blade or uh, cut, uh, counter cutting blade. And, and, and then this locking ring and this thread here has got to its maximum now and it's only taken three mil off of this I'll show you if I can show you that is showing at, at, at 20 mil don't know if you can see that 20 I don't know if you can see that, 20 mil on there and that's at its maximum and it's only gone down 3 mil so that's 17 mil there should be able to go down a lot further problem, problem is that this thread is not long enough so what I've got is I've got a uh, coach bolt here M3 coach bolt nine centimeters long or 90 millimeters long I'm going to take this locking ring off of here and put it on here And I'm going to uh, put it uh, put it in the machine. So I'll turn the camera around so you can see what's happening. Right. So when I use this, that is its maximum it'll do. So I've got loads left on there. As, as I... So so as you can see, once I put. Uh, this back in I can now get a lot more adjustment as you can see I've got plenty of thread there and I've got it locked up there so uh, that should rectify the uh, problem uh, talking about the pressure plate it, if you want a spare one uh, look further down on my on this video and you'll see that you can buy buy this uh, pressure plate from Solent Tools so let's put the front on I'll screw it up and we'll see it working Right, so we're all ready for running it now, but another little trick is is uh, on your push stick, because they're not very good at these end here. So what I've done is, uh, I've put a broom handle inside of it and just made it that little bit longer, so it's just short of it hitting the cutter. So, because uh, you had that about a quarter inch gap, so it won't, so it just it won't catch on the cutter, but as you push down, you'll get a better job. So right, so um, we'll see how it goes then. So first of all, we'll line it up uh, uh, to get the shavings off. I'll show you the shavings in the bottom, and then we'll cut something. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but the shavings are there right down in the very bottom there. You've got your lines up there somewhere. Uh, and I've only taken off up to now as little as possible after reading that on school fix about uh, the guy wanting uh, a new uh, 
a new a new uh, cutter and a new uh, one of them blocks as well. So right, so that's all lined up. So we'll run something in it now. <laughs> So as you can see, this this is miles too small. Uh, so I've used the uh, M10 uh, 90 millimeter uh, uh, coach bolt, but you can actually use you, you, you use one of these. This this is a 120. If I had to use this, I'd have had to put two nuts there. Uh, so if I find the other ones not not long enough, where I've, where I put the two nuts on on it, that's a stop, so it doesn't go any further and catch onto the blade. So uh, I hope those tips help you uh, uh, to sort because uh, there's there's plenty of uh, on that backing plate on that pr pr pressure plate. There's loads more left after this nut's finished. This is miles too small. This 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 is uh, a simple simple uh, mistake on their behalf uh, on, on the making of them. So that help, that helps you. And don't forget, you can get that pressure plate. Uh, see below uh, in the details of where you can buy one for. I think the sixteen pound ninety five. I've ordered one, uh, but it's not come through yet, so I can't show that on this video. Uh, so good machine, but I say that's uh, a problem, uh, manufacturer's problem that they've not sorted out yet. Uh, it's today's date is twenty uh, second of uh, June two thousand and twenty. I'm just going to demonstrate how good this uh, shredder is, this McAllister shredder is for uh, for actually uh, chop uh, after I've cut them down with a chainsaw. How, how it's really good at chopping them up uh, for for uh, your uh, compost, etc. I'll just put it on the lawn. We've got some of them now uh, uh, cut down, so we're now going to put them through the machine and you'll see how easy it chops the big ones down.
Well, that's how easy it does it. And that's how nice and easy it's all nicely munched up ready for going into your garden.